Good day, everyone. My day is okay. I saw my doctor's nurse this morning and just got refills on prescriptions. And Sean actually remembered to bring my knee pain to her attention because I've had like, like achy, like stiff, um, what I would imagine arthritis pain is kind of like in my right knee. So for me it's just kind of like the pain for me is extending further down. Um, but I didn't remember to say anything about that. Sean did. And she like had me extend my leg and ask if there was any fluid in it. And there hasn't been fluid in it. That's like something you would know. You would be able to tell. It'd be like a bubble of stuff in your leg and um, that appointment went well uh, when I got home I had this message from my mom that was like my brother is in her house and she's staying at a friend but she wants my brother to leave by 6 o'clock or she's gonna call the police and and it's just like really weird like I don't know why he's back in her house when the police took him out of her house on um, Sunday so I just don't really understand that and I called the number that my mom left for me to call and talk to her friend about it, who I guess is just her friend's cell phone, and my mom doesn't have that cell phone right now because her friend's at work or something, and she said my mom was going to call later. And then my... Like, I called... I called a couple different numbers to try to reach my brother and it seems like I'm, I reached him on my mom's, one of my mom's phones because it's an outgoing message from my mom but my brother answered the phone the first time and he said he was like well I was like well hey what's going on with you and he was like I don't know like mom doesn't really want me here anymore and I was like, so are you at mom's house? And he was like, I don't know. And... <coughs> Bless me. And, uh... And I was like, well, how do you not know? Because I don't know how you could not know something like that, you know? And that's just like my brother's thing. Like, he's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, there was some more of that when I asked him, like, if he was, like, out, like, around her neighborhood. And. He again, God, my leg itches like I have a bug bite on it or something. My little hair thing is falling. Because it was secured better earlier. Um, what was I saying? Like, I asked if he was like at my mom's house and he was like, I'm walking around. And I was like, so you're like, are you in her neighborhood? And he was like, I don't know. I'm everywhere. And, uh, and that was like pretty much the last thing that he said to me. But it sounded like, I mean, it didn't sound like the phone wasn't working. It sounded like he was ignoring me, which was really weird. And I don't know why he wouldn't want to talk to me. But I guess he doesn't want to talk to me, and, like, I heard, I heard noises, you know, like, noises coming from, from the other line, from the other end of the phone, like, he was still there listening to me, be like, hey, are you there, I'm not hearing you, 
But anyway, like, I just, I don't like being dragged into this bullshit, and, um, my brain caught, my brain kind of pooed out on me, like, towards the end of my appointment, because I've actually been up since, like, five in the morning, this morning, oh man, this, now I'm bleeding, now I've scratched my leg so much it's bleeding, um, and not with my, like, really ragged nail either. I'm pretty bummed about this. Look, like, okay, like, so right after, like, this morning, this morning, I used my nail nourishing thing for dry, brittle nails from Essie for the first time. <coughs> <coughs> Don't know why I'm coughing. And my nail, like, broke. It's not too far down, luckily. But it sucks because it's all ragged now and I didn't get to paint the pyramid on it like I wanted to, so just kind of bummy about that. But I'm feeling pretty like, I don't know, anxious just having to, to deal with this same old stuff, like this like bullshit with my family. I just feel anxious and headachy and whatever. Uh, whatever I was gonna do today, <sighs> I just don't feel like I have the energy to do it, which is really, really silly because it was watch something that we recorded from TV, take pictures of the outfit, and put that in a file so that later I can actually go like recreate the outfit. Not, not a big deal, but I don't know. I just, I'm just feeling like really stressed. I guess about not doing anything. Um, I did have a really cute outfit on for my doctor visit, though, since I was up in plenty of time to dress, I had a really cute outfit on, um, uh, I don't know, maybe I can find a picture of it. I really wish I hadn't made my leg bleed. That sucks. Uh, I guess my brother just doesn't, like, trust me enough to talk to me, and that's fine, you know, whatever. Got all wind blown. Can you see? Is that? There we go. I've got like a mint green like thermal shirt on and then the shirt I'm wearing now is over that and then um, a white skirt under like a really sheer like pastel orange and then like some black paint splattery things with like my really cute platform sneakers which you can't really see those but I got quite a few compliments um, on my hair and my leggings and that was really neat that was really cool because my hair does look really awesome like it's um manic panic does its job well and the the like purple the ultraviolet has been fading really quickly even though i don't wash my hair that often and you know it and i also don't use like any harsh chemicals on it um oh i don't even remember what those things are called now but i don't use those on it um <laughs> thing hurts on my leg um but yeah so it's gotten to be a really pretty pastel and i really like it and really pretty. Let's try to fix this. I did have it like, oh, this is really, really, like, 
hair fixing for dummies right here. All I did was twist the ponytail and clip the end of it on the other side and I tried to get it so so it was like even this is mirrored which is making it more difficult right now I don't even remember why I do that I don't remember I don't, I don't remember I don't remember why it's mirrored I don't remember why it's mirrored but it's mirrored but it's just like a little thing The ponytail looks fine, like, like, down. I'm just hot, and my face is really greasy, and I, my hair is greasy, I don't, want, I don't want it touching my face, so it's just, like, up. Oh. I need to just let this energy go. This isn't my energy. This is not how I want to feel, this is not what I want to contribute. I just feel so uptight, it's weird. Obviously, taking on energy I don't need. Taking on energy from my family, cause they don't handle it very well themselves and they're gonna push it on me. Taking energy from my family Cause they really suck and they take advantage of me Okay, well, now I've sung crappily And I have rambled lots, lots of rambling in this And I showed you my pretty hair And my cutish outfit I don't know if you saw I'm wearing my little carousel horse that I thrifted. I love it. It makes me really happy, but I think I'm feeling really deflated. I feel pressure to do things, which is really silly because the things that I need to do need the things that I need to do are go through videos um from Valentine anniversary day, edit those, post those in an album, share it with everyone. While it's semi relevant, I mean, already like Valentine's Day is kind of like over and done with, but my Valentine's Day was just March 1st. And I did a photo shoot on Sunday because we got a new curtain rod and I had to, so I did. Um, and I took a bunch of pictures with stuff on Sean's phone and I like have to email them all to myself and then like save them and put them on my photo bucket. But it's just of my star castles. I just want to have a collection of my star castles because I don't wear my glasses often and I like to be able to look at them all in one place on display. Because I can't see them from where I'm sitting. That's so lame. I take pictures of my stuff so I can look at it. So I don't have to get up to look at it. Because I love my stuff. I do love my stuff though. I really don't know what's on my leg. But it really. It really is bleeding and hurting. I guess it's maybe like a hive. Maybe a stress hive. I don't know. Ugh. Don't say I don't know. It's like my brother's catchphrase. Alright. Well. I'm going to let you get back to your life and stop listening to me babble on about my life.